Is your bank account using a strong password? Do you use the same password for different online accounts? How long would it take a hacker to crack your password? If you don't know the answers to some or any of these questions, that's okay. Let's talk about it. Starting off, what is a password and why is it important? A password is like a digital key that unlocks digital accounts like email, banking, video games, and other sensitive things. You likely have a password that allows you to use your computer or access your Wi-Fi in addition to your online accounts. Anyone who knows these passwords will be able to log into your accounts and access your personal information. Meaning if you share your bank account password with a stranger, then they can log into your bank and transfer money away from you. Obviously, this is not something you want to have happen, so you should never share your passwords, but you should also make sure that you have a strong password so that it isn't easily guessed. So, what makes a strong password? To answer that, let's first look at the most common passwords. According to a digital security company called NordPass, the top 20 most common passwords include 123456, 123456789, one, password 111111, QWERTY, ABC123, 000000, I love you, and password 1. If you use any of these passwords for any of your accounts or any other passwords in the top 20 list, we highly recommend that you change your password as soon as possible. Normally, we don't recommend typing in your passwords into websites you're unfamiliar with, but for demonstration purposes, we're going to take a look at a password strength test word. This is myonelogin.com, and we're going to use this tool that allows us to type in our passwords and see how long it would take for a hacker to crack them. Let's try one of these top 20 passwords from NordPass. I'm going to enable the show password feature so that you can see what I'm typing. First, let's test password. My one login is telling us that password is likely to, likely to be cracked in less than one second. That doesn't seem very good. And in fact, it's telling us that this is a very weak password. Next, let's try ABC123. Also would be hacked in less than one second. Now we can see here that my one login is giving us some general advice on creating a stronger password. It says to include lowercase letters, uppercase letters, numbers, and symbols. So let's go back to the word password and try to make it more secure. A common practice might be to capitalize the P, change the A to an at symbol, and change the O into a zero. Hmm, still less than one second to crack this password. Well, maybe it's the issue that I'm using the word password, so let's try something else, like computer. I'm gonna capitalize the C, change the O to a zero, change the E into a three, and add an exclamation point onto the end. Mm, looks like this password still isn't very secure. If we look just above here though, we'll see that my one login is giving us another hint. Passwords should be longer than 15 characters. Characters are letters, numbers, or symbols, meaning that ABC is three characters, as is one, two, three, and so is A1%. There aren't very many words that are longer than 15 characters though, so what do we do? A popular comic called XKCD actually tackled this exact topic in 2011. It says, through 20 years of effort, we successfully trained everyone to use passwords that are hard for humans to remember, but easy for computers to guess. The author suggests that passwords, like the one we just came up with, is difficult to remember and is easily cracked. Instead, what we should do is use four random words to create our password. We tend to agree, although I'm not convinced that I can remember four random words on an account that I don't use very often. And even if I did remember the words, I don't know that I would remember the order that they're in. Instead, we recommend coming up with a pass phrase. This is a string of words that makes sense to you, and then we make sure to include numbers and symbols into that passphrase as well. For example, if we use the password plug into Portland 24 seven, then I'm pretty sure I can remember that password. It includes capital letters, numbers, and symbols, but none of them are in a place that I wouldn't expect. Also, according to my one login, we can see that this is a very strong password with 20 characters and would take around 10 years to crack. That's a significant improvement but what would the perfect password be? The perfect password would be as long as possible, uses random numbers, letters, capitals, and symbols, and it might look something like this. Now, this might be a perfect password, but I definitely don't think I can memorize this and use it regularly. Using a passphrase is much more reasonable and is still very secure. However, we're not just done with creating a single passphrase. 
We need to create a passphrase for every website or login that we use. Why is that? Well, let's say you have an email account with Google, a shopping account with Amazon, a social media account with Facebook, and a banking account with First Tech Federal Credit Union. Now, let's assume they all use the same password and they're all using your Gmail account as the username. This means that if Facebook, Amazon, or your Gmail is cracked or otherwise leaks your username and password, hackers might try to log into other popular websites. The first places they're likely to check are banking websites and popular shopping websites like Amazon. Since all of your usernames and passwords are the same, a hacker can now easily log into your accounts and transfer money or buy expensive items. And this also includes smaller websites like one for a video game or the password to your computer itself. So it's never a good idea for your passwords to be the same as a password for another account you use. But Free Geek, how am I supposed to remember all of my passphrases? That's so many! You're right. Having a different passphrase for each website you visit is difficult to remember. Enter the password manager. Password managers are security accounts that keep all of your passwords locked up safely so that you can access them whenever necessary. You can think of it like a digital notepad where you keep all of your usernames and passwords. And while we're talking about notepads, please don't physically write down your passwords near your computer. If you were to do that, then anyone sitting at your computer will then have access to all of your sensitive information. So please, use a password manager, not a notebook. If you want to learn more about a password manager, then please feel free to check out our video on password managers and how to use them. For now, we'll just let you know that our favorite password manager is Bitwarden, but we'll go over why in the other video. Anyway, that's all for now. So thanks for watching. We hope you learned something. Have a great day, and thanks for supporting FreeGeek.